Hi, I'm here to see Michael. Which Michael? I don't know his last name, but he's a friend of mine. He works here at Sturgeon Media Group. I'm going to need more information, sir. We all work at the Sturgeon Media help desk. I can play you a sound recording of what he sounds like. I'm not allowed to disclose employee information to strangers, sir. Oh, I'm not a stranger. Let's just say he's expecting me. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave these premises before I call security. You don't understand. It's very important that I speak with him. Jenna? Michael? I'm going to count from ten, and then I'm calling security. Hang ten. on. It's you. Sir, you're not supposed to go down there. Wait, hold on, excuse me. Are you talking to me? Uh-huh. Are you talking to me? My name is Jake Goodman. Customer service number N6673-1945. You are Michael of Sturgeon Media Customer Service and you refuse to cancel my account. Sorry. How did you find me? I tracked you down, okay? What, like some kind of spy? Michael! Do you want me to call security? That's not the point. The point is that I'm here to cancel my account. Right, well, we can't cancel your account in person. You have to call the customer service number. No, I already did that, and you told me I have to wait 30 days. I need it cancelled now. Well, like I told you, we have a 30-day cancellation policy, and you need to return the router. Okay. Here it is. You thought you just ripped it off the wall. I'm getting security. I'm not leaving until you cancel my account. This isn't going to end like you imagine. Security has policy for customers like you. That's better. Now, you and me, we're going to stay in here together until you cancel my account. You've got to let me go so my lunch break's almost over. Listen, you're not going anywhere until I get control Back over my affairs. I can't cancel your account without my computer. If you want me to help, I've got to get my computer. Oh, what? Sorry. Stay here. I'm going to go and get your computer. Which one is your desk? One on the left, 103. Thanks. Sorry for hating you. Is this it? Yeah, that's it. Sit down. Can I take your name and customer reference number, please? My name is Jake Goodman. Um, customer reference number... N6673-1945. Lovely. Can you confirm your date of birth for me, please? 3rd of May, 1995. Okay, that's all fine. How can I help you today? Jesus, have you not been listening? I'm here to get my account cancelled. 
Right. Can I ask why? Have you found a better service provider? I don't think that's any of your fucking business. Sir, please, we will not tolerate any disrespect to our employees. Yes, I found someone else. I see. Are they offering you a better deal? Can we try and match it? I don't want a better deal. And I don't want anything from you. I'm sorry, sir, but we can't just cancel it. There needs to be an unwinding process. Look, get your shit out of my house. You basically forced yourself onto me, and now I don't even have a say in what happens anymore. Uh, what happens to my broadband, I mean? Sir? Just get it done! Please, we are your broadband provider. You can tell us things in confidence. Trouble in paradise, perhaps? Everything just happened so quickly. Let me guess, your wife doesn't let you make any decisions, am I right? Fiance. I mean, I don't even want to get married anymore. It was all her mum's idea anyway. Well, sir, can I recommend that you speak to her? Tell her how you feel. I want to speak with her. Give it here. No, no, I'll cancel it myself. Just, just let, just need this win. Give it back. Sorry. Sorry. Well, sir, to me, it sounds like you're eligible for a better deal than you're currently receiving. You just need to speak to her and inquire about changing plans. You're good with words. Why don't you talk to her and tell her that we're done? No, sir, I'm afraid I can only speak to the account holder. Hello, uh, this is Sturgeon Media. Um, I was wondering if you had a moment to... I don't love you. I'm with a client. You think she heard me? Can I ask? Why you're unhappy with your wife, sir? How can she improve her services? Oh no. She's perfect. Everything she does is perfect. Sounds to me like you're unsure about your own commitment. No, my commitment is rock solid. I just, I just wish I had the space and time to do my own thing. So isn't that the whole point of a wife? Oh God. You think I'm making a mistake, don't you? Pushing her away like this? I think you might be. I hope she didn't hear me. If I may, sir, I think a good wife requires good Wi-Fi. Now I can keep your current payment plan and just upgrade your speed from 30 megabits per second to 100 megabits per second. I didn't come here for a better deal. I came here to cancel my account. Okay, you're really twisting my legs, sir. 150 megabits per second. That's more like it. Make it happen. That's all done for you, sir. Is there anything else I can do for you today? I don't think so. And listen, I'm, I'm sorry for disturbing you at your work like this. Happy to help, sir. I think a better connection is just what you and your wife need. One more thing. Can we use this conversation for future training of our employees? Sure. Remember next time. You can find out where you live. Very good, sir.